Hello dear students, welcome back once again. So right now I have with me ISC political science specimen question paper with the answers. Okay, so you can go through it and then you can uh, check your answers written by yourself. Okay, so this political science specimen question is for second semester examination 2022. Okay, so let us go through it like a uh, Oh, the first part that is section a is of eight marks the entire question paper is of 40 marks and will be allotted you'll be allowed one and a half hour to complete this 40 marks uh, question okay the first question is uh, like uh, uh, you can see here three fill in the blanks is given so you can do it okay like the first one is dash implies judicial activism the answers are highlighted in green okay you can check it you can pause the video and then you can write down in your notebook okay or if you have already written if you want to check it you can do so okay then question number four a b and c is uh, true and false okay so a b and c all the three are false okay so like a uh, 12 schedule in the constitution was added by 73rd amendment act 1992 so false fundamental rights enjoyed by citizen of india without any restriction false and a is also false okay okay then uh, you can see question number five uh, four options are given multiple choice is there so question number five uh, b is the correct answer which is highlighted in green so i think you can go through it okay and six also may mayor is the correct answer for question number six okay now section b you can see uh you can pause it and you can check your answers if you have already written if not then you can write down in your copies and uh, uh, if you cannot write also then uh, you can do one thing you can take the screenshot and later on you can write down okay like uh, implied powers okay then question number three four five you can see what does single citizens mean then briefly explain into features of parliamentary form of government in india so you can go through it okay mm. okay go through it and if you think these answers can help you a lot then please note it note it down in your copies okay then let us move on to question number six why is local self-government necessary so answer is given then question number seven what is mean by regionalism the answer is given uh, just focus on the last sentence in its negative sense and its present form regionalism means love for one's own over and above the interests of the nation as a whole okay okay then question number eight section c is of 40 marks so four marks each okay see here so little bit uh, the answer is long so doesn't matter if it is giving you four marks okay you can go through it uh, it's from indian judiciary okay why how can the judiciary be kept independent so the process is mentioned over here sound method of appointment of judges high qualification okay uh, they are paid high salaries many more points are there whichever you want you can mention it okay then question number nine you can see here question number nine uh, don't get confused so differentiate between the provisions of part three and part four of indian constitution so the and question is asking to differentiate between fundamental rights and directive principles of state policy okay so either you can make two columns and uh, give three three points or four four points or you can write this way also okay so first uh, you can see your first five points are of uh, fundamental rights and from 6 7 8 9 and 10 okay this is of a directive principles of state policy okay all together 10 points are mentioned so first five is of fundamental right and next five is of a directive principles of state uh, policy okay question number 10 uh, small paragraph is given you have to read it and on the basis of this small paragraph you have to answer it okay so three questions are there one two and three one one plus two four marks okay okay then let us move to number 11 uh, discuss the role of jilla parishad so here you see two questions are given either a so either one or two whichever you like you can answer it but right now please uh, copy both the answers okay okay then yeah what uh, discuss any four features 74th amendment act so you can see how many features are given so any four can do okay then the last one is uh, what is casteism so briefly discuss its adverse role in indian politics so it is mentioned it over here okay children so hope uh, this uh, will help you a lot and in the next video uh, i'll come up with uh, the specimen paper 
with answers of geography as well as economics okay so till that time please go through this political science as well as history which i have uploaded earlier okay go through it and if you come across any spelling errors and all please uh, uh, just uh, comment it i'll rectify uh, in the pdf and uh, one more thing if you really want the pdf of uh, this uh, specimen paper please do comment in the comment box so that i can uh, send it to you okay so thank you very much we'll meet again in the next video till then take care stay safe bye bye